In this video, I'm going to show you how to do rewire with Reaper version 4.71 running in 64-bit mode on the Mac and Notion 4 also running in 64-bit mode. I have a Notion 4 project that has music notation and virtual instruments and I've also created a Reaper project that uh, at the present time has one audio track and it's assigned to the vocal microphone. Let's look at Notion first. Uh, it's important in Notion to check the preferences and make sure that you have rewire enabled. Uh, the Mac Pro here in the Sound Isolation Studio has 20 gigabytes of uh, system memory and so I've increased the buffer size to 1024 samples which works nicely. Over in the Notion Mixer uh, I've already assigned rewire channel pairs to the outputs of each of the uh, tracks and I've got five of them so that's uh, channels 1 through 10. I've got the output of the master uh, set to um, an unused rewire channel pair just to keep it out of the way. And that's really all that uh, is necessary on the Notion 4 side. And now we're going to switch over to Reaper. And the first thing to do is you want to create a virtual instrument on a new track. And so you click on track insert virtual instrument on new track that brings up this dialog you click on rewire over on the left column and then over in the right column you'll see that there's rewire notion that's what you want to do you want to click on that and you want to say okay uh, you want to click on the audio from rewire tab and you'll see that it has uh, channel one and channel two pre-assigned uh, the other channels are all none. So at the moment we're going to leave those like they are. Uh, this Notion track that we just created, all the rewire channels are going to come into this track. And from here we're going to then send them over to other uh, tracks that we'll create in a minute. Now it's very important if you look up here in the track lane that this particular field is set to uh, MIDI all instruments and that's not what we want. Uh, we want to set that the input to none and that's going to change it to monitoring record disabled no input. That's also not what we want. And so next thing we're going to go down here we're going to right click on this uh, record arm button and we're going to change it from record input audio or MIDI to record output and specifically record output stereo latency compensated. That changes this field up here to no input record stereo output and that's what we want. Now the next step we're going to click on this IO button and you'll see there's a track channels and we want to change that to 16. It's going to give us 16 channels coming in from Rewire. The maximum amount is 64 but uh, for right now we're just going to use 16. Now we're going to click on this green FX button and then each of these nuns, we're going to uh, change it to the next sequential channel. This is a little bit uh, mind-bogglingly confusing, but uh, that's the way it works. and. Uh, It's all good. Okay, now we've got that done. And so we've got our rewire channels coming into this instrument track. Now we're going to create a new audio track. And what we're going to do now 
notice we're going to click on I.O. on this uh, Notion instrument track. And we're going to add a new sin. And then we're going to change that, the audio, to uh, the 3-4 channel pair. We're going to create another one. And we're going to change it to uh, 5, 6. And we'll create another one. And we'll change it to 7, 8. And we're going to create another one. And we're going to change it to... 9, 10, noting that uh, we're using uh, the stereo source on this. Okay, so we've done that. And then uh, these are all set to receive from, from everything. And so we're going to delete some of them because we want this to be 3, 4. So that's great. And then we're going to insert another track and we're going to set it to receive from uh, Notion and it's going to be uh, 5, 6. So we've got uh, 1, 2 coming in here. Three, four, five, six. We need another one. It'll be seven, eight. Stereo source. Seven, eight. And we need one more. Change its IO. It receives from Notion. And this is going to be 910. 910. And we want to see, you want to make sure these are all set to uh, 3-4. Monitoring. Okay, yeah, they aren't set right. Okay. Um, the first one is set. That's a uh, no, no input, uh, record stereo output. So we're going to have to change this one. It, it's set to none. That's right. But we're going to have to go down here and click, right click on its record arm button. And we're going to change it to record output, record output stereo latency compensated. And we're going to do that for each one of these. Record output, record output stereo compensated, uh, record output, record output stereo compensated, right click, record output, record output stereo latency compensated. And we've got all these monitored. Uh, that's this green button. That's so, uh, so that we can hear it when it's uh, recording. I'm going to check these again. Uh, uh, okay, the first Notion one is uh, no input, record stereo output. That's correct. That's track two, and then this is no input. That's right. So these, these are all right, and so we should be all right. Yeah. Get back to Smarker and we'll play a little bit.
Now, if you notice on this uh, track where Notion's coming in, it has these little uh, kind of small LEDs. Uh, it looks, looks like a comb kind of held vertically. What these are is these are uh, levels for the different rewire channels that are coming in. And that's a nice little feature. Yeah. Got a long echo. I like echo. Okay, and so uh, everything's armed. Let's uh, let's get it back over here to to the start, and then uh, we'll just record a little bit. Uh, uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. Thanks. <laughs> 